Hello. Hey, beautiful. So after we both get home from work, we do like to try and spend some time together cooking something healthy. Also, we want something that's not going to kind of disturb our sleep. So we don't want to eat too late. We want something really quick and easy. And that is our Mexican feast. So we're going to start with marinating the chicken. So we've got some Mexican spices, dried oregano. Nice. And we're going to zest this lemon. So the next thing we're going to add is the juice of the lemon. Oh yeah, check that out. You're doing the dishes again. I'm doing the dishes again. That's how I like it. You can stay over there. That's how she likes it. So the marinade's done for the chicken. That's going to sit there for about five minutes. And we're going to move on to the next What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by frying off the onions. So can I have a little bit of water, actually? Yeah. That's a very Just good Just when they're actually. drying out, if you add a bit of water and oil. You don't have off. to add oil all the time, because otherwise no, it just becomes... No, this is perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Right, so now we're going to add our ground coriander and ground cumin. Thank We've you. also got this chipotle paste, which is really good. I'm a bit worried it might dry out, so I want to make sure that I keep on top of this. Maybe add a touch more water in here. Maybe turn the heat down. No, no. Listen, if you can't stand the heat, <laughs> get out of the kitchen. Uh, what we're going to do is we're now going to put the peppers in. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited. Can I just keep going? Do it. Put the peppers in. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Dying to do this. Sometimes for convenience, you just get microwave full rice. This is uh, whole grain rice, which I absolutely love and I think is better for you anyway. And we put that in and then we add the black beans. Just sort of mix it together. Now we've got to take it off the heat before mm -hmm. we do what any Mexican food needs, which of course is lime. Oh, I mean, look at that. Just, oh. The smell is fantastic. The P.S. that was his I love saying that, did I? Fresh coriander. Voila. So while you're getting on with the chicken, mm -hmm. do you mind if I get on with something that I absolutely love? And that's fresh guacamole. You get some, you know, avocado, just cut it to nice loose pieces. Start giving it a bit of a go with a fork. Girl made avocado. You know what I mean? Can yeah. I just say, this is an every time we have avocado. I know, that one was. I know. Diced tomatoes, which we put in, some coriander. Obviously, chilli may not be the best thing to have before you go to bed. Use a little bit and you'll be fine. And then, of course, garlic. You mix that all together with a bit of lime. Now, I would like to know what you okay. think of that. Mmm. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Delish. You know what? Not guacamole, it's holy moly. <laughs> the chicken's nearly go. done. I mean, this is how quick it is. This Mexican feast isn't over just yet because I want to add this, which is my pomegranate herb salsa. We've got pomegranate. Coriander, mint and parsley, red wine vinegar. Great. And then we've got some chopped red onion. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It really does, and it looks excellent. Mm. This side dish right here adds texture and colour and is very healthy and completes our Mexican feast. Mm.